parish. He said, you got to protect these people because there's some dummies down there. <laughs> Go down there and protect the weak sheep. Amen? That don't listen. I said, stay behind the light. You don't stay behind the light, you die. Amen? Amen. How hard can it be? So God said, there's going to be a few. So you better get down there. You better get down there. And, uh, and let the priests also which come near to the Lord sanctify themselves, which the Lord break forth upon them. So the priests now have to what? Mm. Clean up their act. Mm. Everybody got to clean up their act. There are boundaries. And Moses said unto the Lord, The people cannot come up to Mount Zion, for thou chargest, saying, Set bounds above, about the mount and sanctify it. Now, if you go, and I'm not picking on any type of religions, but I am. Religions that say, We don't have any doctrine. Oh, what does doctrine mean? Laws, boundaries. Let me prove to you that every church has, come, has uh, laws. Amen? Amen? You cannot walk into Joel Osteen's church butt naked. Amen? For some reason, they will throw you out. I thought there was no doctrine. I thought we didn't believe in doctrine. No, there's got to be boundaries. Amen? Everybody's got to have boundaries. Amen. Churches that tell you, well, we don't have any doctrines and we don't have any boundaries. And Well, well you're lying. Amen? You're a, you're a stinking liar. Amen? I know you're a liar. A -a -a Amen? Amen. you got to have close. You have to set boundaries. This Bible, there is an Old Testament. It is an example of the New Testament. What you're supposed to do now. We are in the New Testament. Love your enemy. Don't kill him. You know, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Old Testament. New Testament, love your enemies. No, wait a minute. Uh, love your enemies. A amen. I'm trying to figure out which one I like better. Uh, amen. So, um, we're in the New Testament. Not only that, you talk about mixed marriages. You know, this is what the Jews, the Hebrews did. One time there was a, a point, and we'll eventually get to it. There was a man, and the Hebrews started hanging out with all these uh, people, uh, young ladies. I'll call them young ladies. They were actually... You know, with their short shorts and their, you know, see-through tops and everything else. And, you know, everything's hanging and they're all going, I want one of them. I want a new model. Amen. I want the brand new hunky dewy. Amen. This one will run. Amen. I mean, this this will get up and go. Amen. That's, that's the kind I want. And so God started to play. Because the people were doing what? Marrying other people that were not Jews and providing babies that were not Jews. Now, aren't you glad we live in the New Testament, not the Old Testament? Because a man, to stop the plague, took a spear and bellied and threw that spear in that woman and then he threw that spear at that Jew and killed them. Mm. And God said, All right. Let's quit the plague. Mm. Aren't you glad you live in the New Testament? Somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> I mean, they killed him. Amen. At one point, they were building the wall. And so Nehemiah says, you got to prove that you're a Jew and that your family was a Jew, and that your family before that was a Jew, and the family before that was a Jew. I want to see your pedigree, your, uh, what do they call that thing for the dogs? Uh, 
uh, you know what I'm talking about, uh, pedigree or, you know what I'm saying. So. Some of them couldn't prove it. So you know what he told them? You can't build a wall. You can't come with us. I'm sorry. You can't prove that you're 100% Hebrew. You have no part. Leave. Leave. So what do the people do? They get over there on the other side. I don't know if it was Nehemiah, the other judge. They do the same thing. They started intermingling with other cultures. And so God had mercy on them and said, this is what I'm going to do. Because you people have disobeyed me again, I am going to tell you, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to have a little mercy. This is the mercy. Divorce your wife. Tell her and her children, bye! And come follow me. Aren't you glad we live in the New Testament? Amen? Amen. That, that rule don't apply anymore. Amen. You, you, you married him. You got drunk. Amen. You was at the party. Let's get, let's get hitched. Yeah, baby. That's a like, great idea. Yeah. Amen. Uh, next thing you know, you're hitched. A amen. Well, you're stuck with them. Amen. Amen. No more Old Testament. <laughs> that day is gone. Mm. God took his law seriously. Amen. Jesus Christ in the New Testament, He takes His law seriously. Amen. So Moses goes down and they make a list in Exodus 20. We are really moving along, I'll tell you. How much time I got, sir? 11 minutes. Good, I can do these. There's only 10. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Here are the Ten Commandments. Are you ready? Number one, I am the Lord God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. That's the first commandment. If you're a Catholic, here's the second commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. If you are a Baptist, Methodist, Episcopalian, and everybody else, that's all still considered verse number one, the first commandment. Only the Catholics get rid of that one right there. You say, why? They add that to number one. Why? Because commandment number two. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You will never see that in the commandments in the Catholic Church. That became number two. Thou shalt have no other gods. That became number two. Does that make sense? They didn't follow the Bible. They didn't follow the Bible. They didn't follow the Bible. Did you get that yet? They didn't follow the Bible. They just got rid of it. They took their black marker and marked it out and says, this is not the second commandment, all right? We'll make the second commandment, thou shalt have no other gods. You say, I don't believe it. Google it. What are the Ten Commandments of the Catholic Church? You don't believe me? Believe Google. Amen. Bing, man, man, whatever website you want to go to. Amen. Number uh, that was uh, number two. Graven images. What's a graven image? A statue. <laughs> you know, you wear a cross. Amen. How many of y'all wear crosses? Or crosses are for for your earrings? You know. You know, because you want to be religious. Well, that's a great image. I hate to pop your little bubble. Hey, I told you, you would. don't get mad at me. I just read the stuff. All right, okay, amen. Amen. I had a bunch of them. Amen. You know, when I first read this, I had a bunch of them. Amen. Amen. You know, when I went to my mother-in-law's, uh, Reuben and Clementine, after they got saved, they had, you know, pictures of Jesus, and they had, 
you know, uh, statues of St. Mary and everything else. And I went to my preacher and I said, listen, they're saved and born again, but they don't want to get rid of these, all these images. He says, they're too old. He said, leave them alone. They're going to heaven. We'll figure it out when they get there. He said, they're too old. Don't worry about it. That was good advice. A amen. amen. Why are we going to argue over something stupid? Amen. 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 They got to say they're going to heaven. Leave them alone. I can see this is really mm -hmm. moving fast. Amen. <laughs> it continues. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. No bowing down in statues. Amen. I asked a priest one time because I was going to become a priest at one time because I was more Catholic. Amen. So I decided I wanted to be a holy man. So I said I went over there. The only problem was I had too many stupid questions. Mm. Like, why does it say we can't bow down to these statues and we're bound down to Mary? My son, you must have faith. <laughs> I said, why, why did Jesus tell his disciples, I shall call no man father? I said, didn't he know that the whole Catholic Church is going to call all these men that we go confess our sins to father? I mean, surely he knew. Did he get it wrong? You have to have faith, my friend. You have to have faith. No, I think I'll just rather be the believe the Bible. Thank you, God bless you. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Do you want another one that will really get you mad? All right, this is going to get you mad now. Revelations, the book of Revelations. The great whore.